Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to explain why poles in right half of the S plane is unstable. In case you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to it. Only then you will get the videos that we post regularly. All right, let's get started. So at the first place, we need to understand the concept of stability. The system is said to be stable if for bounded input there exists a bounded output. So what does that mean? For some amount of input which is stable that you are applying, the output should have a finite amplitude. It should not be equal to infinity at uh, at the end of a signal so what does that mean at t is equal to 0 it should be finite at t is equal to infinity also it should be finite if it is infinity at t is equal to infinity or it is not defined then you will say it is unbounded if it is bounded then it will be stable so how do we understand this concept let us consider two cases case one let us consider a signal 4e power minus 2t at the first place let me consider y is equal to 4e power minus 2t now when t is equal to 0 we get y is equal to 4 because e power 0 is 1 and you will be getting 4 now when t is equal to infinity e power minus infinity is 0 so 4 into 0 is 0 you'll be getting y is equal to 0 if you observe at t is equal to 0 there is a finite amplitude that is y is equal to 4 at t is equal to infinity there is a finite amplitude uh, however it is 0 but it is a finite value so y is equal to 0 since at t is equal to 0 and infinity it is having finite amplitudes that is y is having finite amplitudes we can say that the system is stable so we have to check with respect to only t is equal to 0 and t is equal to infinity why is it so because this is the minimum value and this is a maximum value for any system isn't it that is the reason why we will be checking for these two now we can say the system is stable now let us plot the signal how do we plot this at t is equal to 0 it should be 4 so it is 4 at t is equal to 0 consequently it is exponentially decaying signal and at t is equal to infinity at some point it becomes equal to 0 it is represented in this fashion now let us apply laplace transform for this particular signal 4 e power minus 2 t laplace transform is 4 by s plus 2 now with respect to s plane if you are uh, locating this pole s plus 2 is equal to 0 s is equal to minus 2 is the pole so s is equal to minus 2 at, is the pole at this point so since we have already justified the system is stable and locating this pole this is with respect to this pole this pole is with respect to this system only isn't it so s is equal to minus 2 can we say this is also stable because already this signal is already defined to be stable and the system is also stable because the signal is associated with this system as a result, we will be seeing S is equal to minus 2, that is pole located in left half of the S-plane are usually stable. Now, how do we say right half of the S-plane is unstable? Let us look another, look into another case, case 2. Let me consider another signal which is exponentially increasing, e power plus 2t. That is why we justify it is exponentially increasing. So now, let us consider y is equal to e power plus 2t. At t is equal to 0, we get y is equal to 1, isn't it? e power 0 is 1, so you will be getting 1. When t is equal to infinity, we get y is equal to infinity how do we get y is equal to infinity e power plus infinity is an exponentially increasing signal and its value is not defined when the signal's value is not defined we will take it as infinity y is equal to infinity so e power inf e for plus infinity is always equal to infinity remember this point so now if you see at t is equal to 0 we have a finite amplitude but t is equal to infinity we do not have a finite amplitude it is not defined so it is unbounded that means the system is unstable isn't it because the signal is unstable for the system and you are applying the sig signal to a system and consequently the system is also unstable so, amplitude with respect to time if you plot at 1 uh, like at 0 the amplitude is equal to 1 and it goes on increasing and it goes on increasing up to infinity in this particular fashion now let me apply laplace transform to the signal that is e power plus 2t that is e is nothing but 1 by s minus 2 so in s plane if i have to locate s minus 2 is equal to 0 and s is equal to 2 so s is equal to 2 is at this point so s is equal to plus 2 this is the pole so it is in the right half of the s plane already we have defined this system to be unstable and we are plotting determining the laplace transform and the pole is s is equal to 2 and it is located as in the rhs of the s plane since the system is unstable the laplace transform of the system will also be unstable that means the pole that is associated in the rh of the rhs of the s plane is also unstable so we will be saying in general whenever the pole is located in the right half of the s plane it is always unstable in nature this is the reason why we say this so i hope this concept gives you a clear understanding on how to to justify poles in right half of the s plane is unstable so in case you have any questions feel free to reach out if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video please do keep supporting